The white shark is the rock star of the shark world, and it's a protected species already. So if its future is questionable, what's that tell you about the rest of the sharks? How much does a set of jaws like that go for? A set smaller than those sold for $45,000. As a protected species, they're more valuable. All these laws are paper laws and nothing more. And until people start respecting the ocean, the ocean's got no chance. Why would a marine sanctuary allow a reality TV show to come in and go big game fishing for a protected species with damaging methods? Rogue sharks don't exist. Premier Colin Barnett is leading a push towards installing shark nets. Uh, one, it's, it's wrong, and two, it won't work. Trying to govern ungovernable events distracts us from real shark bite prevention. If we're not willing to leave any beaches on this planet to other animals, then it's inevitable that we'll have interactions with another predator. I meet people all the time who choose to enter waters that are known to be white shark feeding grounds. People are coming from all around the world to see these animals. There are 40,000 people a year who come to South Africa just to see the great white sharks. Shark-related tourism generates some $200 million each year worldwide. The first country to protect the shark on paper kills up to 60 of them a year and fails to prosecute poaching. There's a sad but real possibility that the only reason these animals are doing as well as they are is because we found a way to make more money off of them alive than dead.